Okay, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Queen Sensei. As you all may know, if you don't know, welcome to the channel. I'm glad to have you here, okay? So today is a reading for my Capricorn babies. I miss y'all. And I feel like on every video, I'll be saying like, there's a lot going on, but yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm making a lot of adjustments or changes. New things are arising, okay? So I just be very, very busy, okay? Trying to put things together. All right, but that's besides the point. Um, Let's get into this reading because y'all definitely have a lot of energy going on. A lot of new things coming um, due to Saturn moving from Aquarius and Capricorn. Um placements all right saturn is now in pisces so you might feel a lot of luck coming your way you might feel like things are um more easier than they have been recently or the past few months all right you may feel like a a, a woosa moment like a one of those type of deals okay all right i de definitely feel like um over the next week or so okay you guys are go definitely going to be feeling lucky and adapting um to some type of change like getting used to um having things work out in your favor um also wrote down damage by chris brown could be significant for some of y'all for this next week okay um look at those lyrics if you feel like you know you resonate with that um definitely pay attention to your dreams um you could be having very vivid dreams at this time i definitely feel like Spirit has been giving you dreams about some type of person, somebody getting some type of karma, okay? Because you you got um, psychic vision here as well again, okay? So I feel like if you're having dreams about somebody who wronged you, um, they could definitely possibly be getting karma at this time, all right? Um, dreams about, I don't know, some of y'all could definitely be having nightmares, okay? Or essentially like going to war in your dreams, you wake up feeling tired, things of that nature, even though you've had a, you know, a good six, seven hours of sleep. Okay. That's, that's, there's a spiritual battle. So some of y'all, um, need to practice on being able to control your dreams, things of that nature, because things do come to you, um, in your dreams, trying to attach themselves, things of that nature. Okay. Also feel like um there's somebody sneaky, low key doing something that you don't really know that they're doing. Um, this could potentially be somebody who you ghosted, stop talking to, um, anywhere from maybe a month to maybe two to three years. Okay. I feel like somebody is sneaky and sending you some type of energy. And it could be like you don't really know where it's coming from, but you know somebody is playing with I don't know, doing something behind your back, okay? I feel like that's going to be revealed to you um, pretty soon here. I also feel like you might catch somebody slipping up doing something, okay? I also feel like um, people are not understanding how you're still standing, okay? Um, instead of, like, reacting and, you know, giving them what they want, I feel like y'all definitely been taking their energy, literally taking their energy, and using it for yourself okay because it takes a lot to be mad to be um send negative energy whatever the dark side of things it takes a lot of energy to stay mad and dish that energy out okay so i feel like y'all been feeling that and y'all just been turning it into a positive note okay um for some of y'all y'all intuition definitely pay attention to um the next week, two weeks, okay, this month in general, um, definitely I see your manifestations. Like I said, y'all being lucky, so hold on, let me go. Oh, that's my alarm. Sorry, y'all. It's my other phone. I didn't even know that alarm was on, okay? But anyway, um... Yeah, some unexpected news coming your way, something you didn't expect. Um, this could be a phone call. This could be a conversation for some of y'all. This could be pregnancy, um, new job, something, okay? All right, is that all that I have for y'all? Uh, all right, there could possibly be a Gemini here or some type of lover, all right? 
causing, I don't know, you know, for some of y'all, y'all also have some type of debt to pay off for waiting on some type of taxes. All right, for some of y'all, if y'all in a love situation, you guys could possibly give more um, to this relationship, okay? Or somebody feels like you don't um, give equal amount of what they give. For some of y'all, I don't know. Okay, let's get into the energy. Let's see what's really going on, okay? Yeah, we got, I got caught here. So, I, like I said earlier, I definitely feel like somebody's going to be do, trying to do something sneaky and you're going to catch them, okay? All right? And also with this karma card here, something's going to come back around real quick. Like, something's going to bite somebody in the butt. Somebody, I don't know. Like I said, it's somebody who's been doing something for a while and you don't know um you don't know that they're doing this you really don't you have no clue it probably would be the last person you expect to be doing some type of whatever but yeah um we got crickets here so like i feel like this is when somebody get caught they're not gonna have anything to say okay um it's gonna be clear as day like i feel like they got caught okay it's not gonna be nothing left to say and how you go about that situation um, it's definitely up to you, but remember, every consequence, I mean, every action has a consequence, okay? We got so high, I'm on cloud nine here, okay? So, some of y'all could definitely, um, been indulging, um, over the next few weeks, okay? Yeah, we got spreading false news here, so definitely, this could be that I got caught, like I said, doing something behind your back, all right? um trying to downplay on your name to where you you know you're not making any other networks connections people don't want to just trying to stop your bag trying to stop your flow trying to stop you from i don't know i don't even know why maybe to take their place something of that nature okay yeah we got disappearing here okay for some of y'all i feel like I don't know, spirit could be playing, like, trying to make you pay attention to something, but, like, if you, like, say, for instance, like, a Roku remote or your keys keep making you lose stuff in order to find it, because it's something that you need to be, something that needs to be found that you haven't paid attention to in a while, okay? For some of y'all, um, this is just somebody wants you to disappear. Like, somebody doesn't want you nowhere near them around anything that has to do with them because they feel like i don't know you take the light the shine off of them okay everybody pays attention to you yeah we got mystery here okay so definitely very mysterious um capricorns y'all haven't been um as loud about your accomplishments about things that have been happening to you um, you know, how you're getting your money, how you're keeping your money, how you're being able to expand and keep going. Um, and I feel like that's what makes people so caught in your energy because they can't quite figure you out, if that makes sense, okay? We got childish here, all right? Somebody may feel as though if you are childish, this could be you feeling as though somebody is childish for doing something. All right, we got gangsters cry here, okay? So, for some of y'all Capricorns, y'all might like to, you know, play it like, you know, you don't really care, but in private, you know, you be going through what you're going through. But as a Capricorn, we never let people know, like, you know, we, we down and out. As far as you know, I'm good. But on the inside, you know, things can, you know, eat you up, make you feel sad. It's not bad to express those emotions but somebody feel like like you immature because you don't let the wall all the way down or you don't be as vulnerable as it wants you to okay that's for some of you guys could be with this potential lover okay yeah we got spiritual powers here so definitely pay attention to y'all dreams um, also with that alchemizing energy, okay, bending and transmuting energy. Like I said, some of y'all are very powerful and you know, if you know, you know, okay. And I don't think y'all realize how much power you hold or possess. 
And, you know, this is very cliche. Like, other people see your power before you do, which is why they throw things your way. Like, they throw rocks and hide their hands, okay? Because if you knew your potential, you, like, do you know how big you could be? Okay? I mean, I'm getting, like, the success card here and then back, backwards. So, like, I'm just getting, like, y'all doubt your own self. Like, y'all are what's stopping y'all. Y'all are the... The people who holding yourself back okay um and it could be because you know saturn rules capricorn aquarius cuz sagittarius cuz somewhere on there okay um you can go through test after test okay so it kind of not discourages you but i don't know i just feel like it makes sure i do the bare minimum you glad you got it over with you glad it's done but I feel like if you, like, turn up the energy times 10, all right, something just has no other choice but to work in your in your favor because you already have that power. You just need to match up your energy um, to be able to accomplish or complete something, all right? We got supporting and enabling here. Okay, so somebody, some, um, some of these hating people here could be feeling like, um, you have supporters, you have enablers that, um, you know, help you get you off your feet, do certain things for you. But Capricorns are very independent. Capricorns are always trying to work and get some money. Okay. If you're not, if it's not like people that we love or food or something, like something that we have passion for is definitely work, 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 work. So some people feel like, um, you're not holding all the weight on your own. And if you're not, that's cool, but I'm just letting you know, like, what's the gossip, what's in the air right now, okay? Um, we got a dynamic duo here, okay? So this could be somebody who you used to be best friends with or somebody who you used to be really close with. They could be coming up um, in your dreams, all right? Um, we got separation here. It talks about sadness, missing you, thinking about you, unsure of the future, all right? We also have a Taurus here, okay? A Taurus is significant. All right, let me get one more just for... Okay, yeah, we got hot rod emoji, okay? So let's get into the energy. I've been talking for a while, but like, I feel like it's needed. I don't mind. Okay, Capricorn. All right, let's get some advice for the next few weeks. Week. What advice do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, the first card out is listen, okay? So some of y'all could possibly feel like, you know, y'all know it all or... You know, you always right, but there's something that you need to listen to, pay attention to. Something that somebody's going to say to you that's going to click, spark something, okay? A new idea, something like that, okay? It says, are you talking more than you're listening? Do you finish people's sentences for them? True connection is about how we make people feel and whether or not we're being open and present. Life is communicating with you. An important message is trying to get through. Let go of your fear of not being heard. You'll get your chance, okay? So, for some of y'all, um, y'all own thoughts could be, like, clouding y'all mind and y'all not really sure um, which is y'all thoughts or which is, like, be projecting, okay? I feel like y'all definitely need to do some manifesting at this time in order to um, clear your conscience, clear your mind, and um, connect with your higher self, most definitely. Um, we got pause here. It says, if you're feeling unsure about a decision... It's probably a good reason. Take your time and think it through. There's no need to rush. Allow your, allow your heart's wisdom to guide you. If you feel pressure to act immediately, it's probably a sign that this isn't the right opportunity. Don't worry because more opportunities will come along and the right one will fit like a gorgeous glove, okay? So definitely, um, like I said, the will is coming in here. Um, some, So you know what's best for you okay use your intuition when it comes to these opportunities all right because you do have the ace of wands here in reverse and the four of wands here in reverse okay so definitely um if you feel in rush or you know um 
something just don't feel right with you, um, something's not the right time, things of that nature, definitely pay attention to it because um, something could possibly be a setback or not even a setback, but it's just not your path. It's not meant for you. So definitely use your intuition when it comes to opportunities and people, places, and things at this time, okay? Um, something needs time. Um, may not be the right may not be the right thing for you something like that okay there's something else here for you so definitely pay attention to that all right and rest on that decision okay sleep on that with this dream here i feel like y'all definitely gonna be getting maybe a lot more sleep this month for some of y'all okay let's get into the tarot let's see what's going on Okay, I feel like this month is going to be good for y'all Capricorns, okay? Towards the end of the month of March, I definitely feel like y'all going to have an increase to y'all finances, increase to y'all savings account, all right? Some type of progress um, could be of monetary value, could be of views, could be of followers, okay? Something of that nature, all right? What's going on with my Capricorns? Okay, yeah, that's too many. We're going to redo that. Definitely redo that. Spirit, I need, like, clear messages, please. Clear messages. What's going on with my Capricorn? Okay. Okay, Spirit is definitely telling you this week to... Um, follow your heart, Capricorn. It's time to um, start listening to yourself, literally. Um, I, I definitely feel like you know what's best for you at this time, okay? And I definitely feel like you've been putting yourself in, in um, a comfort zone. You've been limiting, limiting yourself. Um, like I said earlier, you've been through a lot of trials, tribulations. You, you have to hold your own weight for a long time all your life you have to fight type energy and it's something that you really really passionate for okay it's something that you always dreamed of doing but for some reason every time you get started or something okay you feel like there's something else you need to pay attention to or um maybe something is not manifesting as fast as you would like it to so you get a little bit discouraged or maybe you don't have support um like people think you do um, you're not able and you're doing something all alone. So I definitely feel like um, it's hard for you to balance certain things due to you having all this weight on your shoulder. But there's something that you're passionate about, Capricorns. And y'all definitely um, scared to pursue something. Um, scared something's not going to work out, okay? But I feel like this is y'all putting yourself in y'all in a, in a box, okay? Um, Spirit definitely wants you to get out, step out the box, get out this box um during this month of march okay yeah we got the nine of cups here what else let's see what's under that yeah we got the nine of cups here and the devil here okay so in reverse and this is this is y'all energy okay um definitely breaking away from, from some type of industry okay um what people this could be like your parents what what they wanted you to be in life or what rules and stipulations were placed on you okay you may be scared to go against the grain but i definitely feel like y'all are slowly but surely breaking a free breaking free from whatever um people told you um that you should be their opinions on you i feel like y'all definitely stepping in, into being your authentic self okay and um most definitely people notice that all the time um people know that you are you know unapologetically you okay so this is why people are getting their karma at this time it doesn't necessarily have to be physical karma it's just knowing that the fact that you know they let something somebody like you slip through their hands whether this be you being the prettiest girl or finest man they ever been or you um always having advice you always being there for them something about you is definitely changing and i feel like people see that all right and the more and more you start to believe in yourself, all right, I feel like things are, like I said, the tide is going to turn. Um, you're going to break away from society's rules, regulations, people's opinions about you. And you're no longer going to allow 
things to control your mind, your body, and your soul, okay? And this could even be for some of y'all, like, quitting some type of habit that y'all have, okay? And for some of y'all, I definitely feel like um, y'all pl place a lot of trust on humanity because y'all have a big heart. And I feel like y'all are, are taking the view from over your eyes. Like, okay, um, realizing the patterns about, um, like, how that got you, where that got you in the past. Having too much too much love for certain situations, people, and places, and things can definitely set you back, okay, with this two of wands in reverse here um, and limit you from becoming your best self. Sometimes you have to be a little cold-hearted, a little mean, a little rude, okay, in order to get to where um, you have to be, okay, or people are just going to feel like they can walk all over you, all right, and these situations will definitely get the best of you okay let's see what else is going on this week the next few weeks capricorn okay all right so i just feel like this week next week you guys are, are gonna be um mind over heart battling okay um realizing that it's okay it's it's okay to breathe it's okay to relax it's it's okay to let things flow nobody's here to attack you nobody's out to get you um which somebody could possibly be but that don't matter because what you focus on is what expands so definitely mind um versus heart this week um being selfish choosing you most most importantly this week choosing you um, not being scared to stand on a decision um, based on the outcome for yourself, okay? You have to definitely put yourself first, Capricorn. Definitely, because, sorry, I didn't mean to, I'm stuttering. But definitely, if you are the head of the family or you hold a lot of people's weight, all right? If you're not good, then they're definitely not going to be good. So, you definitely make, have to make sure you put yourself first. Um, over the next few weeks this month. Okay. Let's get a few more cards for Capricorn. Okay. If this message is resonating in any way, shape, or form, Cappies, make sure you give me a like, comment, and a subscribe. Okay. Yeah. Um. Somebody's definitely seeing you in their dreams. Okay. We got nine nine here. Okay. Nine 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 could be significant. All right. But somebody's definitely seeing you in their dreams. Um. Somebody feels like the fool. Somebody feel like they let you slip from the cracks. Okay. This could be an old group or old people you used to hang with. Something of of that nature. Somebody's upset. Um. And they feel like. I feel like the main reason they're upset is because they can't benefit off something that um, you have, you obtain, or some type of status. They can't, like, oh, I'm with so-and-so right now, or um, something of that nature. Mention your name in a conversation because people know that they no longer have ties to you, okay? But, yeah, this week, definitely pay attention to, like, random thoughts of people you haven't talked to in your head, people that you're dreaming of, all right? Just pay attention to your thoughts this week because um, people are definitely getting their karma, all right? As Saturn moves into Pisces, all right, people are definitely getting their karma. And I, have, I feel like spirit is putting you heavily on their mind and their heart. Some people may apologize, um, others not due to pride, but a lot of people thinking about you this month, Capricorn. So if you see them come up randomly, um, you'll know why. Okay, but overall, Capricorn, this month is really um about putting you first, um doing things that you need to do in order to help you and everybody else around you, okay? And I feel like that's just, okay? So that's all I got for you, Capricorns, today. If this resonated, y'all know what to do. If not, I ain't tripping. I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, Capricorns.